Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Good day everyone! So, dito naman tayo sa learning task number 2, letter B. Translate the word I love you very much in French by determining and matching the common ratio or common difference of the following and then placing each letter on the spaces below the decoder. So, ang gagawin natin dito, sagutan muna natin to bago natin masagutan itong nandito sa baba. Unahin muna natin sagutan itong nasa taas. Ano ulit yung pagkakaiba ng geometric sequence at arithmetic sequence? Kapag geometric sequence, meron siyang common ratio. Kapag common ratio, i-divide mo yung succeeding term sa preceding term niya. Kapag common difference naman, isusubtract mo naman siya. Alright? So, dito sa number 1, i-identify natin kung geometric ba siya or arithmetic. So, kapag arithmetic sequence... 1, 4, 7, 10. So, 4 minus 1 equals positive 3. 7 minus 4 equals positive 3. And 10 minus 7 equals positive 3. So, this is an arithmetic sequence. At ang kanyang common difference ay equal to positive 3. Next, we have 1, 4, 16, 64. Kapag common difference yan... 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. So, hindi siya arithmetic. I-try natin i-divide. Hindi siya arithmetic. I-try natin geometric. So, 4 divided by 1 is equal to positive 4. 16 divided by 4 is equal to positive 4. And 64 divided by 16 is equal to positive 4. So, ang common ratio niya is positive 4. Na susundan ninyo. Next, we have negative 7, negative 56, negative 32. Kung mapapansin ninyo, magkakalayo yung agwat nila. So, pwede natin itry agad yung geometric sequence. So, i-divide natin ito. Negative 56 divided by 7 is equal to negative 8. So, chinek ko itong given na to at merong mistake siguro sa pagkaka-type. So, dapat magiging negative 448 ito. Kasi negative 56 times 8 is equal to negative 448. Dapat siya. Alright? So, ang common ratio nito is positive 8. Dito naman, sa IM, positive 2, negative 5, negative 12, negative 19. Kung mapapansin ninyo, magkakalapit yung mga numbers. So, ibig sabihin, posibleng ito ay arithmetic sequence. So, itry natin isubtract. Negative 5 minus 2 is equal to negative 7. Negative 12 minus negative 5 is equal to, o magiging positive ito, ba? So, negative 12 plus 5 equals negative 7. And then, negative 19 minus negative 12, magiging plus ito. So, negative 19 plus 12 equals negative 7 din. So, the common difference is negative 7. Alright? So, dito naman tayo sa EB. 88, 83, 78, 73. Magkakalapit din yung mga numbers. So, posibleng ito ay arithmetic sequence. So, 83... Minus 88 is equal to negative 5. And then, 78 minus 83 equals negative 5. 73 minus 78 equals negative 5. So, meron siyang common difference na negative 5. Next, sa uyo naman, 250, positive 50, positive 10, and 2. As you can see, magkakalayo yung mga numbers. So, posibleng ito ay geometric sequence. So, itry nating i-divide. Okay, so pwede tayong gumamit ng calcul para hindi na tayo mahirapan. 50 divided by 250 is equal to 1 over 5. And then, 
10 divided by 50 is equal to 1 over 5. So, the common ratio is equal to 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. Next, we have 1 half positive 1 positive 1 and 1 half and positive 2. So, itry natin i-subtract muna. That is 1 minus 1 half is equal to 1 half. And then, 1 and 1 half minus 1 is equal to 1 half then. So, meron siyang common difference na positive 1 half. Alright? Next, dito naman sa UC, negative 3, positive 6, negative 12, positive 24. So, itry natin is subtract. 6 minus negative 3 is equal to positive 9. And then, negative 12 minus 6 is equal to negative 18. So, hindi siya arithmetic sequence. So, itry natin i-divide. 6 divided by negative 3 is equal to negative 2. Negative 12 divided by 6 equals negative 2. 24 divided by negative 12 equals negative 2. So, the common ratio is equal to positive negative 2. Alright? Again, ito ay positive 3, positive 4, positive 8, negative 7, negative 5, 1 fifth, 1 half, and negative 2. Ngayon, i-decode natin yung mga nakuha nating sagot. Anong letter? Yung difference niya is 3, that is J-E, tapos may apostrophe. And then, yung 1 half naman, ano siya? That is T-A. And then, and then ano naman yung negative 7 ang sagot? That is I-M. And then, next is negative 5, saan dyan? Yung E-B. Then, next is R equals 4, that is E-A. And then, R equals negative 2, that is UC. And then, R equals 1 fifth, that is OU. And then, R equals 8, that is letter P. So, kung pagsasamahin natin lahat yan, magiging, according to my research, that is J-E-T-I-M-E, -E, tapos B-E-A, U, C, O, U, P. At ang basa naman daw nito ay Jetem Buku. Jetem Buku. Alright, so tapos na natin ang learning task number 2, letter B. Abangan ninyo yung learning task number 2, letter C. Yun lamang, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!